Hello students, welcome back to the lesson Investigating Plant Root. In the previous class, we studied about the different ways how a plant can be growing a new plant and about seeds, how seeds grow into a new plant, its shape, its size and its different parts like the embryo, seed coat and the food store. Now in today's class, we will see how seeds grow or germinate. Let us now look into the main parts of the seed. A seed that comes out of the fruit always has a seed coat which protects it from the outer side and then there is the cotyledon or the food store. This food store helps the embryo to grow. Then the embryo, the embryo consists of two portions the plumule and the radical. The first thing that grows in an embryo is the radical. This radical grows into the root system and spreads its root in the soil so that it can hold the entire plant upright. Next the plumule. As the radical grows and holds itself in the soil, the plumule finds its way, its way out of the soil and starts growing the new plant which consists of the leaf and the stem and as the plants grow then it bears the flowers which then grow into a fruit. Now let us see what are the different conditions required for a seed to grow. A seed that comes out of the fruit is not dead but it is alive. It has a small tiny embryo that is sleeping. This stage of the embryo inside the seed which is not growing is called as dormant. Dormant means a sleeping embryo. This seed will start growing only when it receives the required conditions for, the, for it to grow. Like when a seed is sown in the soil and it receives enough amount of water to swell up, it starts germinating. Germination is a process where the tiny embryo inside the seed starts to grow using the food store from the cotyledon, the outer layer of the seed which supplies enough energy for the seed to grow into a new plant or the embryo to grow into a new plant. Unlike plants, the seed do not receive any sunlight. Plants do prepare their food by harvesting sunlight. But in this seed, there is no leaf to prepare their own food. Hence, the embryo growing inside the seed uses up the food store to grow. A seed can remain dormant or it can sleep until and unless it receives the required conditions like enough water and a proper medium like soil for it to grow. Dried seeds are not dead seeds. They can start growing once they receive right amount of water. For example, an oldest known seed is 1300 year old lotus seed. Such seeds remain dormant and grow only when they receive a proper condition for growing. Now let us look at the different stage of germination of a plant. A seed is sown in the soil. When it receives enough amount of water, it swells up. It absorbs water through the scar or the micropyle that is found in the region, this region of the seed. It starts swelling up and the cotyledon starts swelling up. It absorbs water and swells up. Then what happens is the seed coat starts opening up. It will split open the seed and it will give enough space for the embryo to grow. The first part of the embryo that grows is the radical. The radical or the lower part of the embryo starts growing out of the seed and it will spread its branches into the soil and absorb more and more water for the embryo to grow. It will give out branches to spread itself in the soil and hold the plant. Once the radical gets spreading in the soil, the plumule will start growing out of the soil in search of sunlight. This is also called as shoot. 
the shoot grows above the ground and start producing leaves. Once the leaves start growing the food will be prepared by these leaves and this cotyledon will shrink and wither off or fall off from the plant. So, here are the different stages where a seed germinates and grows into a new plant. You can also observe these different stages at home by soaking bean seeds or groundnut seeds and observing them every day how much it has grown and what part of the seed grows first. Thank you. Here is a science question for you. Do you think new plants grow only from seeds? I do not think so. Well, you can find it out by knowing three more different ways how new plants grow from the parent plant. Thank you.